New York City may have its Lin sanity, but China is experiencing a phenomenal cross-cultural basketball success story of its own. Bad pun, apologetically intended. Former NBA All-Star Stefan Marbury, or Mabu Li in Chinese, is thriving again as a Chinese All-Star. The fans here have welcomed him just as he has embraced the expected cultural differences. Within the next 10 to 15 years, I think there will be arenas like this all over China. And you'll have some of the best basketball players in the world playing here. In morning workouts, though, Marbury's upset. He's just heard that a U.S. sports network used a racially derogatory headline to describe Nick's sensation, the ethnic Chinese, Jeremy Lin. The chink in the armor. Can you believe that? I don't know how ESPN can say something like that and think that they can get away with it. Unbelievable. Stefan Marbury is having fun again as a basketball player, rejuvenating his career. And let's face it, his image here in China after leaving the NBA about three years ago after well-documented run-ins with a couple of coaches. Here in China, he has millions of new fans. He's selling his Starberry shoes online, and he writes a regular column with the English language China Daily. The fact that a, a, a player like Marbury would come to China and play basketball in a, in, at an at a age group where he could have still played competitively in the U.S., and he could have played competitively in Europe, and chooses to come to China shows that the CBA has, lead, has, has achieved a certain level um, of competitiveness that's attractive to top players. Um, and and uh, he's, he's been a, a perfect showcase. Marbury turned 35 on Monday. He plans to stay in China and play a couple more years, perhaps coach and build his Starbury brand of shoes and clothing. It's been everything to me. I mean, it's, it's been revitalizing. Um, it's definitely given me an opportunity to do something epic here and, and with my brand and Starberry. Um, Did you get that investment? There's some Wall Street banks were looking at investing with you. Actually, I haven't really, I haven't needed it. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of better to do it on your own as I'm learning. So, you know, you, you don't have anyone telling you what to do. Got a pick for two. Sounds as though Marbury may have found his freedom in, of all places, China. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg, Guangzhou.